Hi there, this is Daniel. Uh, today I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how you can use Sublime Text as your Git editor. Um, what that means is uh, whenever you make a commit in Git from the command line using the Git command, uh, what will happen is that Sublime Text is going to pop up and you can actually edit your commit message within Sublime Text which um, I found a lot more convenient because Sublime Text is really the editor that uh, I use the most, that I'm the most comfortable with. So naturally, I wanted to use it for my Git workflow as well. And I'm going to show you real quick how that all works. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, jump into my shell here and um, create a new Git repository, just an empty Git repository. And then um, we also want to create uh, some file.txt and uh, maybe add some content into that file. All right, so now we've got some file.txt and um, I'm going to add that file to git. Now we've got a new file, some file.txt. And now uh, the interesting bit here is that I'm going to configure Git to use Sublime Text as my editor. And the way you do that is um, by exporting a new um, shell variable. That is uh, git underscore editor. And we set it to uh, the subl command that will uh, start or uh, launch uh, Sublime Text um, and, and make it the focused window. And we'll tell it to wait um, before it returns because that's necessary uh, in the way the, the git command wants to use the editor. And then we'll also tell it to create a new window because I found uh, that's a little bit more convenient than just uh, it opening a new tab. So I'm gonna run this, which will uh, create that new variable and uh, git is gonna reference that variable and then use sublime text as its editor. So when I go and create a new commit now, it uh, is going to launch Sublime Text. So as I hit return, Sublime Text pops up and we're in this temporary uh, file here. Uh, that's git sublime slash uh, dot git commit edit message. That's just a temporary file where our commit message is going to go into. And then we can just say, um, hi there, this is the initial commit, right? And it's going to ignore all of the commented out stuff here. It's basically just going to take the first line. And because of the way I've got my uh, gutter set up here, um, it also tells me how much space I have left for a well formatted and well styled git message. So anyway, I'm going to hit save here and then uh, just close that window by hitting command W or we could also click the X button here. So what's happened now is that git um, uh, git noticed that the subl command um, exited now and um, it created the commit just like we wanted. So when I pull up git log, I can actually see that commit here and we can see um, that my text is in here as well, just like I want it. Um, just maybe uh, a quick reminder, you probably want to put this export command into your uh, shell profile so that you don't have to enter it every single time. And uh, you want to make sure that your subl command is actually configured correctly, right? So you got to make sure that subl command uh, exists. And uh, that's something that comes with Sublime Text, but it's also something you need to configure or uh, basically link up in your path. And then you want to export that git editor variable. All right, that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope that helped you out and uh, talk to you soon.